Hey everybody, I'm Sean Mullen from Rampant Design, and this is another episode of Ask Rampant, our weekly series where you ask the questions and we do our best to answer them. Today's question, how do you do those speed effects in your promos? This technique is known as speed ramping, and you can see it pretty much everywhere you look. From prime time and broadcast shows, to commercials, promos, and music videos, speed ramping is everywhere, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's jump into Adobe Premiere. Alright, so jumping into Premiere, we've got this cool little shot of a snowboarder here. And uh, as you can see, as I'm scrubbing through it, this is really representative of what speed ramps can do. Uh, a lot of times you get a shot like this, an action shot or in a sequence, and your client wants something to be uh, a little bit punchier, and it's awesome that they shot it in slow motion, but you really want to bounce around um, your, your clip speed. And that's all speed ramping is, is you're speeding up, slowing down, you're just dancing around the, the clip's real-time speed. As far as I'm aware, there are two methods in Premiere that you can do on how you can do this, how you can achieve speed ramping. There's the keyframing method and the cutting method. I personally use the cutting method, but I'm gonna show you how to use keyframing uh, key right now. So the very first thing you wanna do is, if your timeline looks like this, in order to do the keyframing the way I'm gonna show you, you're gonna to wanna to expand this, uh, your visual of uh, video track one very quickly. You're gonna to wanna to expand your visual of video, of video track one. So go ahead and over here to this line and pull up. And now you'll see a visual representation of every clip. This makes it a lot easier if you're gonna do keyframing. Um, if you don't see these lines anywhere on your clip, go ahead and right click, go down to show clip keyframes, time remapping, and click speed. And that will show you what we're going to do here. All right. So this is the clip. It's exciting, blah, blah, blah. But you really want to uh, put some punch in certain areas. So let's find some points in this shot where we want to punch it up. So let's say we want to go from here to boom, right here, right? That's the first point where I want to have some action introduced into the shot, some speed changing. Go ahead and right here, we'll zoom in just a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Right here, right on this frame, go ahead and command click. That puts down a keyframe. And now you can see right here, there's an up and down arrow. So if you want to click that keyframe and move it up, and as you can see, 100, 180, 200. That's speeding the clip up. Anything above 100% is going faster. If I were to go slower, it would be below 100%. And of course, 100% would be the real time speed, the original speed of your clip. I want to go pretty fast, so let's move this thing up to, I don't know, let's do around 600%. Let's just roll it back and see what happens. So, snowboarder jumps up, cool, and I'm sure, nice. So you've done your first speed ramp, slow, fast. So that right there is the basis of all speed ramping. Let's, let's add a little bit more punch to this. So let's say right here. Right before he takes off, you want to do slow again. So go, go ahead and, and command click right there on that frame and pull it back down. 100%. So let's roll it back. So you've got slow or real time, fast, and then back to slow. Then of course you can get crazy again. Pull it back up, do a keyframe, pull it back up. Let's do like a thousand percent here. Let's roll it back. So if you had music hits, if you were going to do something on the beat, you'd be very easily just put a marker right here where your music is, put your keyframe, and then do your job pulling it up forward or backwards to speed up or slow down. So you can do all kinds of speed tricks to adjust your footage. Now I'm going to get rid of that last one. So let's say that's cool and everybody's happy, but there's something abrupt, like your client doesn't want it to be so abrupt going in and out of the speeds. The, the quickest way to get around that is to go ahead and zoom in and find these handles right here on your keyframes. And if you adjust these handles, if you pull them out, you're starting to smooth out the keyframes. So it's more ramping in and or ramping out of your keyframes. So if you roll it back, see it. So as you can see, it's not so abrupt. So you can blend the motion instead of having such a, a hard hit. Now you can always you can always do the same effect up here if you click your clip and you go to effects controls and you twirl down time remapping, your speed is right here. It'll actually tell you your velocity, 
and you can adjust your keyframes up here in this window as well. So you can extend, you can go in between keyframes here, you can even add it and remove keyframes. If this is the way you work, this is a great way to do this if you visualize your edits with keyframes. I don't do it this way, and it's just personal preference. This has nothing to do with anything other than I like to work a different way. So I'm going to show you my way of, of speed ramping. So we're going back to the same clip, same exact technique, but I want to change things on how I want to make things uh, speed ramp a little bit of a different way. What I like to do is I find my points where I want to make the action happen. I'll hit cut and I will, let's say, let's make this faster to get into this, to get into this clip. So after I've made my cut, just go ahead and click on the clip, do speed duration, and the speed clip speed duration window will pop up. Now you can just dial it in however you want. Let's say I want it to go a thousand to get into it, right? Now if you don't click ripple edit shifting trailing clips, it's actually going to put a gap between your clips. I'll show you. Click OK. Now there's a huge gap. You've got this crazy fast clip, nothing and then your regular clip. So let's hit undo. Let's go ahead and right click again, go to speed duration. Let's go ahead and just do a thousand, but click ripple edit. And it's pulled the timeline back towards you. And now you've got your speed ramp. All right. And of course, right here, I'm going to click again. I'm going to make a cut. And then I'm going to right click the following clip, hit speed duration. I'm going to do another thousand percent roll it back. So those are two different methods. You can use the keyframing or you can use the cutting. And see all I did was I just made an edit fast in the beginning, normal in the middle, fast in the out. Now if you watch my promos I'm, I'm just guilty of using speed ramping all the time. My clients have me use it all the time. Um, I do other things with my promos to just keep the energy going. You know, we hit you with a lot of data in our promos, so just try to keep the energy going. So, what I would do in this shot here is I'll find a place in the action where he comes to an, where he comes to the top of his arc, so somewhere around here. Make a cut. So it's like, and then maybe right here when he comes on his descent make another cut. So I have two cuts right here. I'll do this speed. Let's call this 800. And this one I want to be faster. So let's call it 1600. So it's just crazy fast. What if you want to take it a step further? We've done speed ramping forwards, but what about backwards? How do I ping pong the shot? How do I get things to go backwards? Well, I'll show you that real quick. So let's start off with making his jump go really fast. So right here, I always try to find exactly where I want the speed ramps to start or stop. This looks like a good frame. So again, I'll make a cut. And I'm gonna make the first clip go really fast. Speed, let's do, I don't know, 800. And then right there at the top of his, his arc right there, I'm going to speed it up one more time. Let me do speed. Let's do another 800, right? Right? So it's like... What if for some reason you want this to go backwards instead? Instead of what we just did right here at the top of the, uh, the, at the end of the top of the arc, you want him to go backwards this way instead of forwards. No problem. Hit undo. And this clip right here is our real-time 100% clip. Right-click it and go to speed duration and hit reverse. I do this in two steps just to keep things organized. So I hit OK. Now when you play it back, it, all of a sudden it jump cuts to the end of the shot. I've had a lot of people write me, well, that doesn't make any sense. What happened? That's because the beginning of your shot is here. You've reversed the clip. So this is your end of your shot. This is the beginning of your shot. It's really easy to solve this. Just pull this up into another timeline, or excuse me, into another video track, and then pull it all the way over and match your frames. So I'll zoom in here, show you what I'm talking about. This is the last frame. This is the cut of the shot before it. And this is the beginning of the reverse. So all this footage here is erroneous. 
Because what you want to do is pull this shot backwards like that and then get rid of all of this to match it up to your cut. So when I do that, it's forwards and then reverse. Forwards and then reverse. And then of course, you don't want it to go from real time forwards to real time backwards, that's no fun. So let's go ahead and right click this one more time, speed duration, and let's do an 800% and make it fast again. So we go fast, whoosh, slow, and then backwards fast. I'll do the backwards thing one more time. We get so many questions about it. I'll do it on another shot here. So you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down. There's no, I don't need to visualize anything, so I just like doing it on the clip itself. So this, uh, this is a 720 shot, so I'm gonna make it larger real quick. So I'll go uh, scale to frame size. All right. So this is a cool shot from Shutterstock. And let's say you wanna speed ramp into it and then speed ramp out of it. So just make a random cut here. Right click, let's do a speed, speed duration. Let's do 800, right? So, whoosh, and then back to real time. But now you want it right here, you want it to go backwards. So you make your cut, right? You right click on it, go to speed duration, and you click reverse speed. And like I said before, you went from the last frame of the clip to the first frame of the clip backwards. So you wanna go ahead and zoom out put this on another video track and move it all the way back and line up your clip right here. Oops. Line up your clip right here. So this is the exact same frame now and then you just peel it back. And then of course you just get rid of all this other footage here. So you're forward, slow motion forward and then backwards. Of course you can right click add the speed. I always do reverse it in two parts. I reverse it, I reposition the clip so it lines up, and then I speed it, just how I keep things organized. So that's it. That's how you speed ramp in Adobe Premiere. It's super simple. Once you learn how to do it once, you can do it a thousand times and just adjust it to taste. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them here in the comments below. Also hit us up if you have a question that you want featured on Ask Rampant. We love hearing from everybody, so send your messages, send your emails, text us. I don't know how you found my cell number, but hey, it's cool. And um, don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube, right here. Cow. And uh, make sure to sign up for our weekly newsletter. It's chock full of cool tutorials, free effects for editors, and amazing deals. You'll find the link to the newsletter right down there in the description of this video. And until next time, I'm Sean Mullen from Rampant Design. Thanks for watching.